Greetings low and high, my name is Azurai. Today's S-Cast is a little more casual. Enjoy. But in all seriousness, welcome to the S-Cast. My name is Azurai, I'll be the voice in your ear today. I hope you enjoy things, even if they are a little less than standard. Believe in yourself. Don't believe in yourself, believe in me who believes in you. Don't believe in yourself. Oh, no. Kill yourself. One down. Hey Pyro, I just hit you. Ow, you're some fire me now. Santa Seth now moving in a sex and hail coming up from the elevator, using the super jump to get into the high elevator. However, he's unable to land the gank. Flippy smiley face, however, will still be taken down despite Santa Seth being bonked by the scout. The scout now in a poor position is able to get out of there. Santa Seth takes his time on the railings. However, it appears that Athena has given the GG and will be taking themselves off the field and away from the game for whatever reason. Velonair will be taken down, unable to get out of there despite his superior speed and mo maneuverability over Saxon Hale. Zeus's favorite spy, the Demonite, will be taken down at point blank range, having done small amounts of damage to himself previously. The sniper Flippy will be taken down, followed by Canary Carabine. A lot of stouts going down, unable to avoid sex now for whatever reason. However, Quarren and the Modifier will be taken off the field. The heavies, however, set up their position, and there is a backstab just after the rage. A perfect timing for Sexton Hale. He will be able to use a second successive rage if that backstab did come after the rage. I'm not exactly sure whether or not it was successful or not. However, another rage has come in soon after, so I have to assume that it was. Bubbles will be taken down. There is the super jump. However, it appears that Sexton Hale will be sent away from the building. It appears that he was able to get back into range, but was not able to land a hit. The engineer desperately trying to run away, but Kenneth will be cleaned up by Sex now going for the chase. However, the heavies now in process community it appears that Scout, Pumpkin Slayer, and Birdie will be taken down. Birdie unable to deal as much damage as he would have liked and will be killed. Gotta go. Puggy. Yes, focus. Oh, Birdie. Birdie's just offending me, so. <laughs> oh man, I can't take. The pressure is too much, perhaps. Senesef admitting that the pressure is too much, and as a result, his performance is suffering. However, there is the rage, and it appears that, yes, his performance is going down quite significantly, wasting a large portion of that rage, and it appears that the rest that the blue team has capitalized on his mistake, forcing him away from the position and unable to get any kills from that rage. Crystal, however, will be taken down, followed by Bimi Dream On. Epic Guts 2-4 will be taken down as well. Saxonel able to clean up that scout within the confines of that area. The scout did not have the room to run away. That's a lie, of course he did. However, he was unable to do so successfully. And it appears that Eric the Hairy Gorilla will once again be failing on his face and will be taken off the field. Nope, nope, nope. The heavy taking a hit from below loses his footing. However, Sex now is not in position to clean him up. This heavy desperately trying to get out of there. The pyro is moving in to cover his escape. However, a rage has been used. Sex now is unable to land the hit on the way down. Crystal, however, will be taking a hit to the face and will be going down. The Pyro is able to send Saxonel into the pit, however he will be returning quite quickly with the elevator. The sentry is still doing damage, Saxonel unable to reach his position to take it down, and it appears that the engineer has set up a second sentry. Both of them are quite close, and it appears that forward bracket equals forward bracket with E, backward bracket equals backward bracket, will be taken off the field. I'm going for a bad ammo pick, it appears that Rookie will be going down as well. Both of those engineers, having lost their position, will be taken down in an easy cleaner by Section L. However, Section L having trouble getting to this soldier, the soldier using the crits from that amplifier to deal a lot of damage at point-blank range to Saxon L. However, the sniper missing two shots, going for a third and fourth. It appears that Saxon L failing entirely, allowing the sniper to go for five shots, a single melee hit before being taken down. Saxon L missing that stationary lime shake before able to kill him up on the second head, using the rage and a super jump to take down Ed and the dispenser. Having reduced Team Blue to three members with less than two minutes on the clock, the soldier is able to rock jump away. However, the scout is being chased down. He's at close proximity. He does not have the necessary knockback from those hits and will be taken down. Rainbow Puffs is removed from play, leaving only two members, a soldier and an engineer, on the field. 
Actually, no, that was my mistake. Two soldiers on the field, both of them dealing increased damage and increased knockback. Having a lot of survival potential, however, they are still vulnerable to rages and appears that War of Sexy Order will be taken down despite not being raged and having the ability to rocket jump, leaving only a single soldier against Saxonel of Team Blue. However, he still has a chance to take the win. Saxonel will be gaining rage over time due to the one man standing status of Team Blue. However, it appears that Lilac will be failing, the rocket jump will be taken down in midair, and that is indeed game. Well done. Oh. That was the that was awesome. the one I was aiming for. That's just <laughs> it's oh, Christmas three, morning. Two. Warm and fuzzies. I has them. Let's begin again. It appears that Kenneth has become Kirsten Brutal Sniper with 29,000 health against the 26 members of Team Red. He has 6 minutes on the clock to take them down. The ability to use the Huntsman after a raid to see if he can find them. It appears that we have found him. He doesn't have a target, but it appears that 666 Epic Guts and the Modifier will be moving into his hits and will be taken down in a surprise attack. Kenneth getting two easy kills. Let's see if he continues this good streak of luck to take down his fellow sniper. It appears that the sniper has got out of range, but sex now. No, it appears the CBS is still on the chase, and Bandage will be taken down. The super jump is used, and there is indeed the rage, but no one is affected by it. Kenneth is unable to get in position for any kills. However, he does have the Huntsman available. It appears that he's going for the chase against the Engineer. No switching targets, going after the Spy, and switching targets once again to go after the Scout. The Scout, however, is easily able to get out of range. CBS is unable to get a hit with the Huntsman, despite the narrow confines of that corridor. Being distracted once again by a suspiciously dressed scout, an actual scout and a soldier. Scout moving in from behind, dealing some harass damage. However, he's missing quite a bit at this range with a shotgun pistol. His accuracy has to be questioned. However, it appears that Kenneth has used a rage against him. The rage does fail, having reduced range compared to other champions. Limeshake, however, will finally be going down, and it appears that a suspiciously dressed medic, I believe, will be moving into melee range against Saxonel as Knight Recon is taken down with a well-placed shaft. The original poster is taken down as well, followed by Scout Pumpkin Slayer. The Spy moving in for, I'd say, four fail stabs, switching to a sniper, <laughs> sniper cloak. Within sight of Sac CBS, as the other scout, as the other spy, I have no idea why I call them scouts, but let's roll with it. As BD Me Dream On <laughs> is taken down 100% Uber Charge while facing CBS. Santa Seth will be taking down our former Saxon L, having taken the win, I believe, from last round. My memory is to suck. Anyway, let's move on. It appears that CBS is missing quite a lot of these Huntsman shafts, unable to land any significant hits. Moving in with two on the offensive, the spy has revealed himself. Quarren, however, is able to use the Dead Ringer to avoid that hit from Dev. It appears that the rage has been used once again, but Kenneth is unable to land any hits from it. The scout is able to survive the stun and get out of range. Moving against the scout once again, it appears that the scout will be going into a higher position. Kenneth, anticipating a lower approach, will be going after Crystal, getting a hit instead. It appears that Crystal has once again been taken down for the permanently, unable to get out of there with a dead ringer or invisibility cloak. To rage is felt. Raisky is also taken down, having gone against CVS for a few seconds at melee range. I'm not exactly sure whether or not that was skill or incompetence. Let's decide which one it was. It appears that CVS has been taken down by a huntsman of all things, and that indeed will be game. Don't worry, Crystal. I'm sure nobody hates you. Be ahead of the curve. Ahead of the curb and Deep, as the OSP will be moving in a Saxon Hale, and I say moving in the most, l in the least literal way possible, as he is currently not going anywhere. Indeed, you should move around his back and rub it with a knife. Yeah, you rub his back. Do it, spy. Yes, do it more. 
Oh look, it appears that the OP is back and has used a rather interesting technique against Team Blue, getting a lot of kills. However, his honor has been sacrificed for it. Let's only hope that he came back to keyboard late in the game. Moving against the medic, medic using the syringe gun is able to go down to a low position, avoiding Saxton Hale. Saxton now moving against the heavy, being locked in the air. It appears that he has missed his footing and will not be able to land that jump. There is a stun coming in from the flank, just getting... Saxnell is taking a lot of unnecessary damage in this position, but there is indeed a rage used against Santa Seth, taking him off the field. It appears that the other spy has been able to survive that hit. The medic is used, able to use the uber charge in time to avoid that hit and maintain his position, using it on the heavy, dealing a lot of damage. However, the OP will be sent to ground and out of range of that heavy. Only the move against Michael Prince, unable to get out of there, having been ganked by the OP. There is a super jump into position. It appears that the sentry, however, he's is countering it along with that heavy the knockback combined will be enough to send Saxonal away from there there is a super jump however going back in position here's a scout pumpkin slayer will be taken down the heavy however is still operational as well as the sentry gun rainbow pass however will be going down I say however too many times we should really count that Anyway, it appears that Saxonal is going against the Pyro. The Pyro does have the ability to flare jump and does so, getting out of range. Saxonal, having taken a significant amount of damage, only has 10,000 HP left against 16 members at the 4 minute mark. Make that even less easy. He takes another backstab. The Spy, however, getting another backstab with the effects of that Uber Charge, getting a lot of damage to him and his medic. The medic, however, has overstayed his welcome and bandage will be taken down. The spy is still online, not going on the offensive. I can only assume he has a dead ring out. But the pyro now moving in to save his medic, doing a good job. How it appears that the pyro is now made vulnerable by his own team, despite his team play attitude. However, he's able to use the flare jump to get out of range as Azurai's massive pain is, is taken off the field, unable to get out of there due to its size. Ah, ah, ah. We just come back. Disclaimer having a massive penis is actually a detriment. As it appears that Beamy Dream On will be taken down, unable to get out of there as the OC comes back online. Using a super jump in the rage combined, he's able to get into position. Birdie will finally be taken down. However, it appears that UT Nico will be taken down as well. However, it appears that the scout is unable to get out of there, backing himself against a rock. And between a rock and a Saxton Hale, I can only assume that is one of the hardest places you can imagine, as Quarren is taken down, unable to survive that hit. Yeah, because Saxton's hard. Oh yes, so very hard. <laughs> Just look at those pectorals. It appears that the Engineer has been caught out, and no, it appears that the OP will be taken down before he can get the kill by Athena with a backstab, and then Deed will be game. <laughs> Moving into the next round with the Furry Otter as Christian Brutal Sniper once again with 30,000, 30,000 for 34,000 health. I have no idea why I can't speak English all of a sudden, but uh. anyway, it appears that CBS now moving against his fellow sniper. Bellinair will be going down. It appears that Lilac will be killing himself as well. It'll be Dream On and Flippy will be going down. A lot of kills going to Sexy Order, doing a lot of damage to Team Blue this early in the round. Let's see if he's capable to go continue this early game gank into a definite advantage. And the Spy revealing himself going for a face stab and failing. However, it appears that he's able to get out of range with the aid of the Pyro. The Pyro using the air blast to keep CBS at range. CBS seeming hovering in the air at ground level will be going after the spy unable to land those hits and appears that the first rage has come out the medic however is able to move in with the uber charge keeping that spy in play the reduced range of CBS's rage will be to his detriment as he is unable to get out of range the spy is locking him with their bodies Athena taking a hit and it appears that Zeus's favorite spy will be taking a shaft at point-blank range shiny Lucario and Limeshake going down as well it appears that the modifier will be going down to a backstab by CBS, unable to get out of range. However, the spy, having used the dead ringer previously, is being hunted down by Sexy Oddies, unable to land the hits needed, however, and that spy will be remaining on the field. Moving again to CBS once again, it appears that the spy has landed a hit, not sure if it was a backstab or not, but it appears that Nebva, Nebva, 
<laughs> I like that name. We'll be taken down due to it. It appears that Epic Guts 2 4 will be taken down as well. CBS once again going after the spies, having a distinct dislike for them. It appears that Crystal will be going down, revealing themselves at point blank range, and as a result, will be taken down in an easy clean off kill by Sexy Order. Night Recon will be going down as well, unable to make his way up those stairs quickly enough. CBS is able to land another backstab, landing quite a few. It appears that there is only room for one sniper as Ed is taken off the field. <laughs> spy. I meant spy. Why did I say sniper? Anyway, it appears that the scout is unable to get out of there. He did outlive the stun, but Ryskill was unable to get out of range and dodge that hit coming towards his face and will be removed from play. 14 members still on the field with, we, as we approach the halfway point. The scout dealing some small amount of harass damage before going to a higher location. Sexy Odi anticipating a lower approach. It appears that he's able to take down Hale's own sandwich. Sex then Hale will not be pleased with that. However, it appears that Michael Prince will not be able to dodge that shaft to the face and will be going down. It appears that Scout Pumpkin Slayer, not learning from his fellow's example, will be going down in the exact same way, in the exact same position. CBS being milked by the Scout from the flank and it appears that more bacon strips will be taken down with a shaft to the flank. Shag Maestro and Bode also going down to CBS's melee hits. However, it appears that he has wasted the super jump, taking a small amount of damage from the sentry, able to clean it up with a single huntsman hit. However, the pyro is able to use the air blast to keep him at range, giving him a small amount of range. It appears that UT Nico will be attempting to go overhead. However, he was unable to do so as Azurai's not so massive penis will be going down as well. Due to its once again size, size is actually a detriment to some, however, results may vary. It appears that the elevator is not being cooperative with CBS as he is able to get the stomp on the original poster, our former Saxton Hale, able to clean up the engineer in the most hilarious way possible. Lilac is also cleaned up, unable to get out of range. There is indeed the rage. It appears that Rainbow Puffs will be going down, unable to get out of there due to the rage. The medic now in a poor position will be able to get out of range. It appears that he's going for a high location, only turned around trying to juke, and it will not be successful. Bandage is removed from play, reducing Team Blue to two members. Sexy Order taking the time to admire the paintings. I can only assume it was one on the side. However, it appears that having attempted to post his own on a non-flat surface, he'll be once again going after the derf, choosing it over the lady on the right. I'll let you read into that and it's your own will. It appears that he is able to land the hit on Santa Sef. Santa Sef doing nothing to defend himself will be going down as an easy second kill. To CBS, reducing Team Blue to a single engineer who is turtling around in an unbeknownst location. Right there. It appears that CBS, having no idea where they are, will be on the exact opposite side of the map he needs to be on. Don't ghost kids. We'll try not to. Tis good. Tis very good. Indeed. Also, go away. I don't need you. It appears that the teleporter has been taken down and the escape method of that engineer will be removed. It appears that he will be moving against the sentry, struggling to get up there. That last rocket did give the sentry a lot more damage. He is able to survive three hits, but will be going down. The dispenser goes down as, as well. However, the engineer is nowhere in sight. Let's see if CBS is able to track him down. The engineer, having revealed himself, loses his sentry, switches to the pistol, trying to get into range. CBS used the, sent the super jump in his set, Axe Extinguisher, also known as forward bracket equals forward bracket E, backwards bracket equals bracket backwards, will be taken off the field. That's a hard name to say. Alright then, to be continued. Hello again, thanks for watching. This one came out a little late. That was my bad. I had ideas at the time that I wanted to explore, but it turns out that they took a bit more effort than I was able to put in at the time. But hey, in my defense, we're going through a heat wave here in Australia. A desert country. Yeah, try 40 to 50 degree heat for weeks on end. Not cool. But still, I'd like to apologize for my tardiness. My bad. What can I say, I'm lazy. But with that out of the way, Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more, click here. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Ciao.